Oh, it's pretty high. I kept thinking, where's the bridge that I keep seeing on the minimap and just wasn't looking high enough, I guess. <laughs> and no Sky Island exploration involved in uh, the Guron side quest or main campaign thing. That means uh, all these islands in the sky, I kind of have to explore them in myself. To be fair, there aren't really that many. And uh, just... What? What's going on? Oh, because I'm far enough. Because <laughs> I'm not in the city anymore, basically. <laughs> it was a little strange, though. I thought uh, I was about to get interrupted with some other quest nonsense. And right after I got a b whole bunch of quests, too. You are not hidden. These are Goron hot springs. There's one Goron right over there. That's it. Southeast from here. That means in this direction. Near Goroko something. So somewhere around here. Probably around here. And I'm positive I have to find a place first before I report back. Yep, clearly can see the entrance right over there. Never mind. <laughs> I got bamboozled. Was it Gorko Lakes or Goko Tunnel that I was supposed to go through? those guys I don't care uh, also there's this right here okay that's not it Looking around. Is it down here, maybe? Yeah, I'm guessing this is just for, um, Krog thing. Yep. 
These boulders are always strictly for a Korok thing, now aren't they? Oops, come on. Gorko tunnel right here. Maybe the springs are inside. Oh my god, no. You'll need to reach your friend on your own, buddy. Gorko tunnel. I guess it has to be in here because this is a whole thing. So, this is a free way to break open uh, some stuff. That's very cool. Jeez. I mean, might as well break the rest by ourself. I'll we'll choose this too. This must be it. The hell? Did he seriously follow me all the way here? Oh, that makes that makes things uh, convenient. Did he drink it? Ah. I guess he made the eggs and then tasted the egg, I guess. So if you drop an egg here, you get <laughs> that kind of egg. Do I get to uh, sample these? Uh, I guess not. Oh, I can have them. Oh, well, it's just a hard boiled egg, actually. No, what's over here? Oh, this thing. Dead. Still haven't found the woodland stable. I still don't know what to do to do all those things. Okay, so now we're going up here. This is too far away. I don't know if there's a... Yeah, I don't think there's a chasm opening all the way up here. So I'm kind of tempted to... Um... Hmm. You no, know it'd probably be easier to just go from here. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I teleported all the way up here because I was thinking of jumping into the... A volcano chasm, but uh, it's probably easier to just do it from over there to get to the light route that I had uh, marked earlier on. I probably have to climb quite a bit, however, that's gonna be annoying. But at least I don't have to worry about the heat.
Oh, cool. Can I make my own flying machine right here? Time bombs, fans. There's this thing. Well, that's just gonna make it go downwards, right? I'll put it like this. Um, that's not balanced. That's not quite balanced either, but you know. Oh, there we go. Now, if only I could give it a head start. I'm kidding, I can. <laughs> Just have to do this. Also, I think there's some Yigo over there. Okay, um... Oh, that was a bit of a waste. That was very much a waste, god damn. I don't think that's actually gonna work. Maybe. Maybe I ought to just use this. Huh. There's no fire thing. Oh well, in that case, I'm just gonna use one of my own. to attach it. <laughs> yeah, at least this thing works. Yeah, there's a bunch of Yiga here, but I don't care. I might as well mark them on the map, just in case. Is that the light route that I did? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, that's the one that I did. You want to pick a fight with me, really? Cuz I don't care. Yeah, definitely I would have burnt up by now if I tried to go all the way to the light route as I currently am. <laughs> Cuz heat like this drains your health. Essentially. Yep, just ignore all enemies. Cool. Connected those areas. And there was a light route down there that I also could very clearly see. I haven't marked it, but it's probably just right here.
Well, there's one all the way over there. That makes sense. And that's probably the one that I actually ignored. Hmm. But there's probably one. There has to be one right here. So I have to go there. Hmm. Yeah, we can see it from here. The lava was just obstructing the view a little bit. Like, it's so damn close to that other light route. Pretty big indicator that there's a shrine nearby. From the one uh, here. Wait. Wow, there's lots of close uh, stuff right here. But yeah, there's a shrine right around here. <laughs> so yeah, Unibo definitely, like, he's not nearly as useful as Tolin, so I can completely understand why the game points you at uh, the Rito first. Uh, but he is useful for um, excavating and blowing up uh, walls, because it means you don't have to waste a fire, a bomb arrow on... Uh, blowing a wall up or something, or your weapon's durability on breaking it open. So that's neat, at least. You know, this light's route is basically just a formality, because uh, it doesn't really reveal anything, and honestly, what are you going to do in this island, even if you teleport to it? Okay, now we're gonna go back um, here. It's probably closer here. Damn it, I'm gonna lose a heart for this. So, Tolan works in the air, like the fastest. Uh, Unibo on carts or vehicles. I'm guessing Sidon's gonna be um, on uh, in water. Like he's gonna be like the easier to easiest one to access and he's probably gonna do some kind of like a water attack. I mean I assume it's Sidon for the Zora. <laughs> kinda strange if it isn't. Mm, can go back up through here. That would be convenient. Sweet. Lots more revealed. Oh, and this is a secluded area. Interesting. Korog Grove. Hmm. Yeah. I guess there was a shrine right here that I just completely ignored. Hmm. Um, I was gonna teleport back up through um, right around here because that would have been a little convenient. Uh, not really. We're not close to anywhere from there, so yeah, let's actually just teleport here. 
Because I think the reason why I didn't go to that blue pin was because of the heat, right? I didn't have the fireproof stuff ready with me, I guess. Man, the game's loading pretty quickly right now. Did I do something different to my hard drive? I don't know, but I won't say no. That's another shrine that's not activated. And it's right next to the temple, yeah. How could I have ignored it? And I call it the shrine when it's the light route, but it's connected to a shrine, so... My mistake makes it okay, because of how it really works. Wait. It's up there. <laughs> we, we gotta climb back up, guys. <laughs> Good enough? No. Fuck, this might be too steep to climb, maybe? Yeah, it is. Um, well, first, let's, uh, let's do this. Yeah. Figured. Oh, come on, I wasn't close to it. How dare you even imply that I would lose a heart over something as trivial as that small segment of gloom. By the way, the gloom hands will be scarier if they even, like, spawn from the wall gloom. I don't think they can, but uh, if, they, if they could, that would be much scarier because, like, you're very vulnerable when you're on the walls. Almost there. Not gonna run out of stamina. Just barely. Can almost slid off. I think I can just fly to that other place. Like it'd just be convenient and fun. <laughs> actually, maybe not. Uh, actually, no. It, it's probably for the best actually that I do this, because I think like the other sh other light route is much lower to the ground, or much deeper than the, that one. So it's probably not more convenient to uh, get there from what I think. Ooh, might work. It's a pretty big climb if I wanted to do that. Pretty big climb indeed. Yeah, that's good enough. Um. Oh, there's a monster right there. You know what? I think I'm gonna actually finally fight one of these things. Yeah, it's just a regular one, so I think I'll finally fight one. But I'm going to the light route first, for sure. Because I want to see where I'm fighting, <laughs> you know? Oh, 
Well, so I might as well equip the Master Sword. I'm getting tired of seeing that weapon around my back. Definitely feels immersion breaking to see you go around with a weapon that just clips through your entire body and stuff. here and that's not even the shrine that I was supposed to go to or light route that I was supposed to go to <laughs> but I'm actually glad that we went here first because uh, it's very good very convenient makes things much easier I have to go all the way over there too now because there's a very very small spot that's not covered by a light route just because of that one light route that is there. That means I'm gonna have to teleport back to fight the frogs. much far than I expected. Like, how far are we still? Goodness gracious. I should, I should actually seriously be on the lookout for other bargainer statues, because uh, there's supposed to be six of them, apparently. Which makes perfect sense, because it's, it's uh, like uh, for the dark and depth clothes, right? Each time you find a new one, there's a new one. There's a new uh, piece of clothing article available. But the other ones have not been that obvious to me to find. Abandoned Elden Mine. Well, who knows? Maybe one of them is actually around here. Another bargainer statue. Just like inside underwear. all the way up there, isn't it? Okay. Can I ascend? That would be very convenient if I could ascend. I think I can right here. Damn it. Can I do it from around right here? Damn it. Oh well, I guess we're gonna have to climb all the way up there. No, you know what? There has to be a... There is a way. This is what the sleds are for. <laughs> I 
it there. I was not expecting to move that much. <laughs> okay, wh what's actually the nearest spot that I can jump through? To be honest, I can't really climb through any of these areas. They have to be around here or something. Just move it a little bit. Put it here. Recall. Send. Oh, that didn't work. I guess it was a waste to actually get that thing. Or was it? it just means I'm going to have to invest even more. I wish I could just use a rocket or whatever. Good enough. I probably should have reoriented myself a little bit. going. Keep going. There we go. Oh jeez, almost uh That would have been too steep of a climb if I was uh, too below, actually. Anyway, this is actually a pretty good vantage point. Compared to the one just north of here. It reveals basically nothing, however. So this is the, yeah, this is this one. So... I mean... Anything around here? That's interesting. <laughs> can I go through here or something? I guess I can. Oh, there's a Yiga here. And yes, I know it's a Yiga. Good luck with that. <laughs> You'll fry, uh, die here. <laughs> Fool. Three hits. All it took. Could have used this thing. <laughs> so there's seriously no like uh, special thing here. Oh, this thing. No, this thing doesn't fly. That's right. Like it has to fall off from somewhere first. Sand. Is there? Oh, there are stewards here. I was looking around to see if there were any stewards. But I couldn't see anything, but then I remember, remind, I remember that these guys were a little uh, hard to see when they're deactivated. Oh, a new schema stone. Nice. Automated ally. And then they're gonna make me tutorial the thing.
Oh, that's interesting. It's not a device to get around, but just to uh, defeat enemies. Of course, I already technically have automated allies with me. Ooh, I'll take it. So where's the one who sells the stuff? It's gotta be uh, somewhere around here. Yep, yeah, over there. Every time I see a mine, I have to consciously remember that uh, these guys might be around. Go on indeed. Go on like the go on is right above us. I don't have enough to buy. I have enough to buy some, but not very many. Only 17. Fight frogs all the way over here. I want to fight it. I want, I want, I want, I want. In this direction, roughly. Above this thing. <laughs> just appeared in the distance. <laughs> Is that a talus nearby, too? I'll take a picture of the zonite deposit. Because it's part of the treasures, I guess. Hey, frog brain. Oh, I'm dumper. <laughs> yeah, just hit the eye. I thought the bombs wouldn't explode in my face, but apparently, I guess it, I showed. It, they clearly do. Um. Well, I'll take this. And we're breaking stuff, so... Well, oh, that was fast. So just blind it, and you can immediately take advantage of uh, its weak points. Yeah. Cool. It's all like the Talus in that case. Oh, whatever. Fine by me. One left. And it's dead. So it's basically like a Talus. It's just that instead of one rock on its back, it's got a ton. Or five, I guess I should say. But of course, that was just a regular Frox. I imagine uh, the uh, other variants that we saw have a lot more health. Because I probably could have fought the frogs a long time ago, but I 
Oh, I didn't bother because one, we're in the depths. Two, uh, well, uh, I don't know its pattern. Well, clearly I don't have to worry about it because I mean, all you need to do is hit it once in the eye and it's vulnerable for more than enough time for you to take advantage of it. Well, I guess that's it. Let's actually go back up here and go to the lizard lakes. Also, yeah, the game is actually pointing at the um, other regional phenomena. Oh, there's a shrine right here. We can see one of the lakes right here, and what was the shtick about it? Okay, that's just a hint. One brother hunts for... Let me read it again. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. I'm guessing there's one of them, there's like an opening in them. I gotta say, these lakes are not very big. <laughs> This one has a thing right there. Also, oh, this is a hot spring, so I restore my help by just being in it. Nice. Uh, you do have to be drenched in it for quite a bit. Caves over here. Oh, I guess I have to help you guys first. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yes. Ah. Bring peace to hell, then. This is gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> oh, they're over there. Slide in. Time to die. Are you guys coming in? Okay. Damn it. Uh, master sword time. <laughs> you idiot. And this. Too slow. Also, the first time I ever get a black Bacoblin sword. Ow, you hurt. Oh, 
Oh, come on. No one took care of that guy? Seriously? Jeez. So what's my reward? 20 rupees? Okay, I did have the sword. It's just restoring itself right now. Hello? And now I have to follow these guys for some other place again. Well, at least I finished this side quest. Yeah, now bring peace to Akala. Well, since this is a cave, there's probably uh, a bullfrog right around here, yeah. Hi. I nicked its leg. I hit it in the knee. I used to be an adventurous cave frog like you. Then I took a narrow in the knee. My commentary really makes you feel like we're back in 2011. When Breath of the Wild wasn't even a thing. It was just Skyward Sword was the latest Zelda release. And Skyrim came out around the same time. And everyone was talking about Skyrim over uh, Skyward Sword. Everyone was just complaining about... Scarred Sword being more of the same. And now people are like people who are like upper, more traditional uh, Zeldas instead of Breath of the Wild and uh, Tears of the Kingdom are all like uh, Scarred Sword wasn't that bad. Hello, context people, go look back at when Scarred Sword was released. People were tired of the traditional Zelda formula. They wanted they wanted uh, Nintendo to do something different so desperately. And sales numbers do not lie. It's pretty clear Nintendo had to do something different. They had to do something like Breath of the Wild. Okay, this is about alignment. Do I, can I change the whole thing? No, I can't. Can I climb? No, I can't. But I can just descend in whatever spots. Uh, not sure if that was good enough. It was. At least for this part. Well, oh, this doesn't seem to be worth it, but whatever. If I remember, recall has infinite range, so let's actually put the camera in position first. This should be good enough. This should let me reach the top. In a very strange way. Wow, that was very strange looking. Right? And that's pretty much it too. Very short trying. Now, for those lizards, I'm guessing it's the one over there that's uh, got the hidden stuff nearby. Okay, this is a Noddle build something. Oh, uh, that's what it's for. Doing the favorites thing. Cool. 
cool. So what's this lizard down here hiding and where is it hiding it? Don't go in the water, don't go too much in the water. Jeez. Ah, it's right there. Lizard's Burrow. Another hot spring. And there's a chest right there. Nice. Varudanya Divine Helm. This is this is an amiibo thing. I could have gone that with an amiibo. Although I would have gotten a second copy through this chest too. But yeah, we completed that uh, side quest. It's nice. Okay, let's look for the... Um yeah, this stuff, but... Uh these 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 quests are well these are shrine quests actually so what should just show me shrines but there's probably some other quests that involve um some other stuff Oh, I thought there was a. I thought I had a quest that showed where the um, woodland stable would be, but uh, I guess not. Where could the frog be here, by the way? There's got to be a cave opening somewhere. Either in the ceiling, or oh, it's right there. Alrighty, stupid frog. How many arrows do I left? Only 15, Jesus. People keep talking in forums about how oh, they have uh, hundreds of hundreds of arrows even after using them all the time. I don't really agree, personally. I always end up a little short on arrows. I don't quite always uh, run out of arrows anymore, but I always end up kind of short on them. Well. Since we're here, near this big skeleton, let's go do that side quest real quick. we don't really move that quickly on this vehicle. Look at the giant row of bokoblins this guy has. Ha! I'm gonna run over all of you guys. I should have equipped my uh, vehicle with uh, some uh, ballistics, but all I've got is Unibor. Okay, whatever. This is all too slow. Plus, I'm heading in the wrong direction. I should be heading much further north. Uh... There's a cave somewhere. Well, it's gonna have to wait. Or not, maybe. Unibo? Oh. 
Nope, it will have to wait. Oh well. Yeah, this thing was in Breath of the Wild. In case you're wondering. There's a shrine right there, yeah. They'll do! Am I supposed to take a picture of this thing again for this game? Apparently not. In Breath of the Wild, you had to take a picture of this thing for a side quest. Apparently not in this game. Also, I think it looked a little different in Breath of the Wild. Maybe. Yeah, it took me a couple of hours, but I finally turned up. <laughs> I guess we just have to reattach the other eyeball. Also, how did the eyes get fossilized anyway? Oh, it's stuck. Hopefully we won't break the eye. Oh, come on, it's still stuck? Jeez. You have to use this. Well, actually, no, I can just use this and fuse it with... Any nearby rock. <laughs> Just have to destroy one more thing. Boom. I gotta go back to talk to her. Again, huh? Ma? <laughs> uh, fifty rupees. I mean, it wasn't that difficult, but oh, she she's the one that involves all of them. Okay, that's neat. Hebra is in a cave. It's gonna be neat to see if they actually expanded on that cave because it was one of the few caves in Breath of the Wild. It made it all the more special when you found it, because uh, it just seemed so great to actually be in a cave for once, but unfortunately it was like one of two or three caves in Breath of the Wild, so it was kind of a reminder of uh, how uh, limited uh, Breath of the Wild's underground exploration was compared to the other 3D games. But thankfully this one rem remedied that. <laughs> Unfortunately, it also uses Breath of the Wild's map, so we kind of end up in a case where we're thinking, eh, if only Breath of the Wild had all this stuff. Man, these deers and does do not belong in this area. That's why I killed them all the moment I see them. Would spare the uh, ostriches and stuff. <laughs> oh, also, I think the light dragon is supposed to still be like around for me to interact with if I want. I just have to be in the Great Sky Isle to see it. In fact, it was the dragon in the uh, Great Sky Isle area, I believe. Although I was pretty sure it was Farish that was actually there. But still, actually, I kind of want to try that. I'm going to go back to um, the Great Sky Isle to see if we can see uh, the Light Dragon again. And totally not Zelda anymore. Timely catches. Oh, nice. Also, Master Sword is restored. 
Um, what am I supposed to do here? I guess I'm supposed to catch it as it goes all the way here. Well, I failed at that. Where am I supposed to leave it, though? That's my big question. Let's see. Okay. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. It's gonna stay there, right? Well, the button's pressed, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? So that was the tutorial level. The real level's over here. Oh, jeez. What am I supposed to do here? What does this do first? Okay, since it's right there. Uh, apparently there's some stuff up there, maybe? Yeah, actually, there's there's something all the way to the top. I guess I'm gonna get bounced all the way up there. Yep. And by bounce, I mean, of course, thrown all the way up there. Any chest here? No. Hmm. Now we gotta go all the way back down. Ow. Well, this one's simple enough. If only I hadn't incurred fall damage. <laughs> that stunned me. Then I would have been able to hit the thing. It also fell a lot faster than I expected. Okay, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Well, I still had a chance. Wow, I thought it already fell, but uh, I still had a chance. I think I'm have to use my arrows. Whoop, what the hell? Like this. I have to use my arrows to make that work. Yeah, I had to time things as properly as I could. Ironically enough, I was sure I was gonna miss, but apparently not. That was good enough. And you heard me say it before, and I'll say it again. Whatever works, works. <laughs>